If you like this iridescent like material, here's how you can do it in Blender. This was inspired by this post on r slash 3D modeling. There's the node setup for the coloring that I started with. I knew that we'd need a Fresnel node to get that color change with camera movement, so I plugged that into the color ramp. To pick the color for the iridescence, I just saw four main colors in the original post. This light blue color, this purplish color, the red, and the orange. So I added those to my roster and added a white at the end to pad it a little bit. Feel free to mess around with your colors. You can add these extra colors color pins by control clicking on the bar. I added a gamma node, since I like the way that it altered the colors. The lower value gives it a more pearly color, and the higher color makes it darker. And with that, we plug the output of the gamma into both the base color and the emissive. I did change a couple of settings for the principled BSDF, such as setting the metallic to the highest color, and the roughness to the lowest. We can get pretty results with just this, but if you want to add that glass or see-through effect, add another principled BSDF by right-clicking and searching principled BSDF. Also, add a mix shader as well, and plug the principled into it. On the BSDF, set the roughness low, the IOR between 1 and 1.5, and then set transmission to 1. Plug in the BSDF that controls our color if you haven't already, and then plug in the mix shader into the material output. In order to control the ratio of glass to color, I used another Fresnel node and plugged it into a color ramp. Plug the color output of this color ramp into the mix shader into the factor plug. These are the settings that I like liked, but mess around and see what results you get. This was a fun little experiment, so I hope you guys enjoy, and for more tips like this, consider subscribing.